Hello all of YouTube, I hope everyone is having a wonderful evening. My name is Flossie, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the DAO-12 shotgun in Battlefield 4. Now, this is a second assault weapon unlocked via a second assault challenge. This gun has been known as the Street Sweeper, the Armsel Striker, the Striker. It's been featured in many different movies, many different games. Um, the way you can unlock this gun is by completing an assignment. The, there are four challenges to the assignment. One, the first one is to reach rank 10. Second one is to obviously have second assault. The third one is to get one shotgun ribbon. And the final one is to raise or lower the Caspian border gate, which all that means is in the main entrance to the Caspian border wall, there is the Caspian border version of the bollards that you raise and lower and they have spikes on the end they're big ramps and they're ridiculous but yeah just raise or lower those and you will unlock this weapon now you do have to do all of the requirements in the assignment within one match to unlock this so just raise or lower the gate and get a shotgun ribbon within the same round and you'll be good to go now a little bit about this gun's background it was originally developed in south africa in the 70s i believe and then it was remade due to design flaws in the uh, mid-1980s, and that design is currently what it is today. Um, it's a revolver-like drum mag shotgun. It fires semi-auto. DAL-12 is short for double action only, 12 gauge. This gun's been in the Battlefield franchise back since Battlefield 2. Um, in Battlefield 4, it has 12 shells in the drum fires at about 220 RPM, which isn't necessarily fast, but you can empty those 12 shots pretty quickly. Um, a disadvantage to this gun that's been in every game ever, that's just how the gun is, due to the fact that it has a drum mag, is that its reload time is atrociously slow. It's In a Battlefield 4, it's approximately 1.2 seconds per shell. So figure that in, you're in a close quarters fight and you empty all 12 of your shells, well it's going to take you a pretty long time before you're fully ammoed up and ready to go. Now the damage model for this shotgun is 18 damage maximum per pellet, 6 damage minimum, it fires 8 pellets per shell. Now the sweet spot for range is going to be between 5 and 15 meters. You can get hit markers up to 50 meters but I, you'd be better off pulling out your pistol at a range like that. Um, see if there's anything else I need to go over. Uh, I think that's good. Let's move to the attachments and situations you're going to put yourself in. Obviously, close quarters. You're going to be one of playing infantry-style game modes with this, and if you are playing something like Conquest Large or Rush, Try and stick to corridors, buildings, that sort of nature. It is one of the shorter ranged shotguns in the game. Now, so far as magnification, I'd personally go with the iron sights if I were you. I feel like the holographic and the regular red dot sight just take up a bit too much of the screen. Now, for some odd reason, the second assault weapons don't have your usual amount of attachments that you can unlock for it. One of the attachments I'd really like to see with this gun that I used back in Battlefield 3 is the Cobra Sight. I'm not sure why DICE hasn't implemented this to use for this gun, but, you know, can't pick and choose. Uh, as for the ammo types, I would really vary between Buckshot and Dart. D if you don't know what Dart is, Dart is just pretty much the flechette rounds of Battlefield four. Um, dart's going to give you more penetration, you're going to have better range, more accuracy, but buckshot is going to be really good for the close quarters and multiple people type situations. Now, slugs aren't really made for a semi-auto shotgun, and they just, I don't know, I, personally, I don't feel like they perform very well at all on a semi-auto shotgun, and frag rounds just aren't what they used to be, if you catch my drift. Um, the next attachment I would recommend is the laser sight. Laser sight is always good. Any shotgun, semi-auto, pump action, whatever the case, you're going to be hit firing a lot with a shotgun, and a laser sight is definitely a good pick. Um, the final attachment, the barrel, is really your choice. Things 
such as the muzzle brake and compensator aren't really going to make too much of a difference seeing as you're not using an automatic weapon. Um, I personally don't like to run with a modified choke or full choke or I don't like to use a duckbill on any shotgun but I don't like to use the chokes on semi-autos. That's just me. I rely a lot on my hip fire when it comes to the semi-auto shotguns. Um, but yeah. Tell me what you guys think. I haven't seen anybody really review this weapon. Um, but uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think of the weapon. Um, do you do you like the gun? Do you think it's terrible? Are you like me and you kind of like it, but you don't think it holds up to his Battlefield 3 counterpart? Um, I enjoyed it a lot in Battlefield 3. But, um, yeah, if you haven't seen my previous video, I reviewed the F2000 Assault Rifle, also second assault weapon. Um, you can check that out by looking at my channel. Um, also feel free to leave any suggestions for future reviews. I'll be glad to review any gun at all. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching, and feel free to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, have a good one.